Hi guys, so in response to a question I had on my last video I posted regarding decoding DMR um, with DSD Plus on uh, Mac OS X, um, this is going to be a quick video on how I've done this. So the first application you're going to need will be Wineskin. Um, this is available here from this website that you can see. I will put a link in the description. Um, and I'll quickly go through on how you set everything up. So just to get everything ready, download Wineskin, uh, get it installed, um, and then the second thing you're going to need is going to be the actual DSD application. Now this is a Windows application. Um, so if I go to the download, I need to re-download these actually. Just download all these uh, these packages. So you don't really need the change log. Okay, so they're all downloaded. So that's ready for us. Now, once you've downloaded Wineskin, you can uh, run it. Uh, when you first run the application, you're going to have no installed engines. So you're going to have to s download one of the engines. And it's just as simple as literally clicking the plus button here, selecting which engine you want, download and install. I've already got the latest one here, so we're just going to uh, carry on from here. Uh, once you've done this, you need to create a uh, new blank ra uh, wrapper. So just do that, and let's call this DSD Plus. Um, yeah, just call it that. So click OK. It takes a couple of seconds for it to think about it. And what should happen is, is once it's finished creating this, it will give us an icon for the application in, a, in the documents folder so I'll drag that out to the desktop and you can you'll be able to see exactly uh, what's contained within there and how we go about installing DSD into it right there we go it's created it just going to view it in finder drag that over uh, drag this one to my desktop get rid of that right we now don't need wine skin anymore so we can get rid of that this was the application that the actual main wine skin application this is the one that we need okay so um, what we're going to need to do is let's just get the files uncompress these let's double click on them like so and close that now this is what's been created with wine skin so I just right mouse click show package contents uh, and then you've got this application called wineskin so double click this click install software copy a folder inside so what I'm going to do here is copy my uh, DSD plus which is contains all the DSD files choose um, choose the exe which starts the application which is DSD plus okay now let's go to advance um, actually we'll come back to that in a second come out of here now if we go to the drive C program files we can see that this is where it's installed um, the DSD files now what we need to do is just put the DLLs in there and the updated FMPA so I just go back to my downloads Downloads. Uh, so these are the DLLs. So I'm literally just going to drag and drop those into that folder, and then you've got an updated FMPA if you use AirSpy. Okay. So that looks good. Remember, what we're looking at here is actually inside of the of this wrapper. Okay. So what we also need to do is put some switches. So what we can do is if we run this again, advanced, we need to put some switches for this application. For example, we need to set the input audio and the output audio. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look to see what switches were in my default one. 
I'll just copy these and explain what they are. So here I've got dash i three. That's uh, input audio channel three. Output is one. Uh, minus o capital O null means it will stop. It won't record any of the, the decoded audio to a WAV file. And this is a filter, audio filter, and dash fr forces it to DMR. Now you don't have to put any of these, you could literally just take off all of those and just have these two switches here. So, now, what you need to do now is tick this tick box here, use star exe. I find that it uh, didn't quite work well if that wasn't selected. So once that's selected, you can close it close this and now we should be able to double click DSD plus and start the application right now there's some useful information in this kind of DOS window here um, and this will help you if you haven't chosen the right input and output the first thing is here it's showing you um, what input devices you have what output devices you have and what the application set to. So at the moment I'm actually going to be feeding audio uh, from my virtual audio cable using an application called Soundflower uh, which will come from my SDR software. Instantly I'm using Cubic SDR on the Mac and it's absolutely brilliant. It uh, works really well. And then I'm chucking the audio out to the built-in output. Okay so unfortunately here I am I'm just about to start the SDR software um, but there wasn't any um, uh, DMR transmissions taking place so I wasn't able to demonstrate it working but my previous video uh, demonstrates it, it working it's the only thing you need to do is uh, ensure that the output audio of your SDR software is on the same channel as the DSD plus input channel and then DSD plus will decode the audio for you um, the next video I'm going to make will be showing you how to uh, make use of the um, DSD plus dot radios file which is actually um, a file contained within the DSD plus installation folder uh, and what it does is it contains uh, radio IDs and aliases so when you're listening and, and looking at DMR you're able to display a call sign. Um, for me, I use it for amateur radio, so I'm able to uh, see the call sign of uh, people who are actually talking at that time, rather than just the uh, DMR ID or the handset ID or their ID number. Anyway, if you've got any questions uh, or comments, please leave a, a question or comment below, and uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks.